with a 76 year old man as a relapse of AML after being in remission with six months of azacitidin. Diagnostics reveal uh, the patient is having IDH2 mutation for which he has started with enacitinib. Four weeks later, patient complains of rapidly processed dyspnea, hypoxia, cough, and fatigue. Examination is notable for diffuse crepitations. Laboratory findings are notable for a WBC of 5000, just 1% blast, and ANC of 2000. Hemoglobin is 8.9, platelet count is 55. Chest x ray shows diffuse pulmonary infiltrates. What is the optimal management strategy? This is not AML basically, because uh, after starting enacidinib, this guy has shown a good response to enacidinib, and the amount of blast is very, very low in the blood. Uh, whereas this patient has developed respiratory symptoms after starting enacidinib. So it must be differentiation syndrome, and the treatment for differentiation syndrome is going to be with corticosteroids as I told you. It's not only after ATRA, even after starting IDH inhibitors also you might get differentiation syndrome which is something which I told you in the previous question itself. So the right answer for this question is going to be steroids because of differentiation syndrome 